Good evening and welcome to Late Night Review. We talk about what's happening and what's not. I'm Jack Overbeck. And I'm Kaylee Law. And here are tonight's top stories. German football club Bayern Munich is facing some criticism this week after a photo of the club's Halloween costume party showed one player in traditional Arab attire holding a box that looks like a package bomb. Is it awful? Yes, of course it is. But is nobody going to talk about this equally shameless appropriation of Ted Cruz? <laughs> a Japan Airlines flight was delayed after the pilot of the craft failed a breath test 50 minutes before departure. 42-year-old Katsutoshi Jitsukawa had 189 milligrams of alcohol per 100 milliliters of blood in his body, 10 times more than the legal limit for pilots. Honestly, it's pretty wild that there even is a legal blood alcohol limit for a position of that importance. And I don't just mean pilots. The legal blood alcohol limit is 15 milligrams for surgeons, up to 50 milligrams for commercial bus drivers, and a couple of beers for Supreme Court justices. <laughs> Mexico City went three days without water starting last Wednesday morning due to a maintenance shutdown. When asked if they had any words of encouragement, Austin locals responded, I'll just buy a couple of packs of Ozarka from Target. We were fine. <laughs> Florida Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue has come under fire recently for comments he made in describing the gubernatorial race between Republican Ron DeSantis and Democrat Andrew Gillum. Perdue was quoted saying how this year's election was so cotton picking important to the state of Florida, while DeSantis himself previously said that Gillum is articulate, but voters shouldn't monkey this up by electing him. When asked to comment, the rest of the world replied, Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Trump's entire platform and his views on everything, or the manner in which he's answered every question ever asked of him, and his insistence on calling this hair. <laughs> And finally, Jimmy Kimmel has yet again performed his annual Halloween tradition of extracting great joy and personal satisfaction from the deep, searing trauma that he inflicts upon children by convincing their parents to lie to them. We can't tell you what he's got planned for Thanksgiving, but you can rest assured knowing it involves a drawn-out, harrowing reenactment of the Trail of Tears in which Jimmy Kimmel plays all the parts. <laughs> for Late Night Review, I'm Kaylee Law. I'm Jack Overbeck. Good night. Woo!